Welcome to the very first Journeying Into Joy podcast. My name is Carrie Christopher, and on behalf of Women World Leaders, we thank God for each one of you. My prayer for this podcast is to encourage, edify, and equip you to grow in your suffering with great travail, growing from the pain-filled ashes to a glorified beauty of Jesus Christ. Then, to see you all soar, soaring high in joy and freedom, as you taste and see that the Lord is good in all darkness and in all circumstances. You will hear this podcast unfold into two different ways of encouragement. First, a letter to you penned by God's heart, and then poetic poems and prayers from the depths of my ashes to the praises of the skies as I soar above all the pain in intimate joy with my Savior. Dear Sister, By now you have experienced much toil and much suffering. Whether the coronavirus has attempted to come against you or a loved one, your heart may ache this season. The separation from friends and family gnaws at your heart. The losses of income, jobs, and your seemingly anchored identities torments your mind. I see the Lord's heart bending towards you. It may feel like the masterpiece God was weaving together has unraveled loose and wandering threads. Have you comforted yourself in this anguish with a feast of feeble food? Have you consumed hours of TV, food, and social media hoping that your burdens have lifted? Have you tried to trust what you can do all by yourself without the very power of God? Sister, release the anguish, the heartache, the loathing, the plethora of idolatry, the captivating thoughts marred with contempt. Join me at His feet. Soak in the presence of God as He longs to press into your pain with you. He aches to hear your cries and console you. Release, sister. Come to me, all who are weary, and I will give you rest, promises the Lord. Feasting on Jesus isn't a fable. It's a fairy tale where our mighty King comes to the courts of our own emptiness, entering into our shame, breaking down every obstacle in the way to rescue us so that we can sit with him in the heavenly courts, enjoying the fruits of abiding in the Holy One, adorned with his strength and powered by his Holy Spirit, crowned in his beauty. You are his chosen one, his redeemed princess, providentially chosen before time. Come to his table, dance and feast in his kingdom courts as we revel in his love for us. I write to you, sister, reminding you that you are loved and that you have purpose. Pend in his love. Now I leave you with a glimpse of a poetic poem of my own suffering and the hope of glory. Ashes around us, our souls seemingly dead. This season has been a blazing fire and we are left with the ashes around us. We felt our flesh burn ablaze and our hearts sadly scolded. Our clothes were left singed by the intensity of heat. Somehow, we are still standing, though, our bodies unscathed. There are no exterior wounds, although we felt the devouring fire burn us for weeks. As we muster up his strength to look around us, we are left with the mounds of aching ash. We can still smell the stench of death, the sour smell of burning. 
our eyes still burn, hurting and squinting to see through the remnant of our distress, lingering smoke everywhere. But as we look, we are enamored by our protector standing in the middle of the fire with us. His glory around us, brighter, resiliently standing firm in the fire. He has clothed us with care and not allowed the fire to consume us. It's a miracle. We gasp for breath when we are awakened to the reality that we made it. We didn't die. We are protected by someone bigger than ourselves. We can hear them. The onslaught of our enemies laughing, jeering, and hoping for the worst. Their voices echo in our hearts, giving us chills of trauma from the events that the days that laid behind us brought. We were thrown in this fire by our adversary, and he thought he would see the day of our demise. We hear, we hear our Savior's voice above the rubble and the ashes. We smell a fragrance that clothes us with hope, hope to trust again, hope to walk forward, hope that he will heal the trauma of our souls, hope coupled with abundant love that no matter how vicious the fire, how scorching the trials, we will walk from it. As Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego left their fire unscathed, alive and well, so have we, and so will you. We walk out of the fire, hearing his encouragement from behind us. He speaks life and power over us, promising that he will be with us wherever we go, that his presence will never abandon us. Allow me to pray for you. Father God, we come before you, and I ask by your mighty hand that you would bring my sister comfort. I pray, Father God, that you would arm her with a garment of your love, and that praise would raise up out of her very ashes. That you would, Lord Jesus, come into my sister's ashes and allow them to be transformed into beauty. That her pain would be used as a platform for your glory. That you would go in and heal her heart in areas of the unseen. And that, Lord, you would be intimately woven in every area of pain and that you would bring her to ultimate surrender a surrender at your feet i pray your love and your steadfast mercy to encircle my sister in all that she does giving her resurrection power to come alive from the ashes and live according to your love your purpose for her and with the light and life of Jesus Christ. Lord, we submit all of these things to your heart because you care for us. In Jesus' name, by power of the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to Women World Leaders Podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com to submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by Women World Leaders and cannot be used without expressed written consent.